No? Well, time to change that. Get ready to create a hero, an adversary, and a world to explore. Press the A button to switch tools, then use the left stick to navigate to the prop tool, and press A again to select it. Press up on the D-pad to open the prop gallery. Use the left stick to select the characters tab, then press A to filter your view. Choose any character you want to be your hero. Press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. Press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. Move the cursor over your hero and hold LB. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. Welcome to the Brain Editor, where the magic really happens. Brains are a collection of code statements that tell the object how to behave. All code statements are divided into a when side and a do side. When the left side is true, do the actions on the right. Let's start with a blank brain and build your hero from scratch. Select the plus and press A to add a time. Tilt the left stick toward the con Select the control. Select the left stick time. Now this line of code will run. Select the plus. Select the movement folder. Select the move. You've written your first line of code. It said press B to exit the brain. Press menu to open the pause menu. Select test to try out. Move the left stick to see what happens. 
When you're done testing, press menu. The pause menu has many you select edit to return to create mode. Move the cursor over your hero and while holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. Let's give your hero the ability select the plot. This is the tile picker, where all code tiles can be found. Tiles are all select the con select the con select the select the plus and press select the movement for select the j the line you just however your hero will jump constantly if that button is held. Let's add one more tile to change that. This will be a modifier, meaning it affects the tile that comes before it. Select the plus and press A. Select the mo select the pressed tile. This means your hero will only jump when the button is first pressed. You'll have to release the button before you can jump again. Your hero's brain is missing one more key thing, a camera. This is why the game doesn't move with their actions. Select the plus and press the right bumper to view the next page of tiles. Select the camera for select the follow camera because the when side of this line is empty. Now the camera will always follow the player. Let's try out your press B to exit the brain. Press menu to open the pause menu. Select test to try. Try jumping and moving the right stick to control the camera. When you're done testing, press menu. Select edit to return to create mode. Move the cursor over your hero and hold LB. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open. Let's make your hero select the plus. Select the con select the select the app. Select the plus and press A. Select the comp. Select the app. Now your hero will attack. Let's make your hero do a ranged attack. Select the plus and press A. Select the controls fold. Select the select the Y tile. Select the plus and press select the comp. Select the shoot tile. Now your hero will sh time to test out your code again. Press B to exit the brain. And press menu to open. Select test to press the X and Y buttons to see what happens. When you're done testing, press menu. Select edit to return to create mode. Well, now that you've made yourself a hero, you need it. Let's pick an enemy from the prop palette for our hero to fight. Prop mode. The prop palette. Use the D-pad to select the goblin from the prop palette. Press the left trigger to snap the prop. Instead of coding a brain from scratch, we're going to select a pre-made Move the cursor over the goblin. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. Normally, this goblin would come with a default brain. Right now, it's blank. So let's press the menu button. The brain options menu. Select the brain. Welcome to the brain gallery. Each brain can be dropped into any object. Your collection will grow with each con. Now let's find and drop enemy brain. Use the left stick to select the search box in the upper right. Then press A and type enemy. Select enemy brain to automatically fill in all of the code your goblin will need. Press B to exit the brain options menu. Press B to exit the brain editor.
Press menu to open the pause menu. Select test to try out your game. Press menu when you're done testing. Select edit to return to create mode. Amazing. You've come great. You've created a hero and an enemy. A mountain is your next. Press the A button to switch tools, then use the left stick to navigate to the sculpt tool and press the first step to sculpting and encrypt. Use the left. Use the Y and X buttons to use the right stick to orbit the camera around your cursor. Click in the right stick to change the camera zoom level. Now that you've got the hang of the camera, go start creating. Mold your world to sculpt. Hold this is the this tool expands the terrain it touches. Hold the right trigger and move the brush to raise a mount. You're off to a good start. While holding the left bumper, use the keep expanding until your mountain is lofty and majestic. Press A when you're done. The expand brush is great for adding terrain, but so the erode brush reduces the terrain it touches. Hold the left trigger and move the brush across your mountain to add contours and remove excess to Don't worry about making mistakes. It's really safe to experiment and try new things in Project Spark because it's really easy to undo those actions. Press the view button next to the menu button at any time to undo your last action. You can also hold, let's reduce your brush while holding the left bumper. Use the left stick. Use both the expand and erode brushes to sculpt your mountain into a geological wonder. Press A when you're done. Let's add some color to your mouth. Press the A button to switch tools. Then use the left stick to navigate to the paint tool and press A again to select it. Ah yes, paint mode. This press the right trigger to paint some to paint. Hold the right trigger and move your brush over the terrain.
Use the D-pad to change paint materials. Paint until your mountain is vivid and awe-inspiring. Press A when you're done. You've made an interesting... It's time to make a... While holding the left bumper, use the left stick to select scale. Then tilt the right stick to adjust the size of your brush. Now paint over the terrain with your ground material. Press A when you're done. Now it's time to pick a cup. Press up on the D-pad to open the... This is the paint gallery. It contains all of the different... Choose a material, then press B to exit the gallery. Paint a path to connect all of the elements in your world. Press A when you're done. Great path. Press the A button to switch tools. Then use the left stick to navigate to the prop tool and press A again to select it. Press up on the D-pad to open the prop. This is the... You can filter your view by prop type. Select the coin prop. Press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. Press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. Press the right trigger to place as many coins around your world as you want. When you're done, Press B to deselect the coin. Almost done. But you press up on the D-pad to open the prop gallery. Use the left stick to select the search box in the upper right, then press A and search for tree. Pick a tree to add to your world. Press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. 
press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. Not bad, but how about we make it a bit bigger and move your cursor over the tr while holding the press A when you're done. While holding the left bumper, use the left stick to select Rotate Y. Then, tilt the right stick to adjust the tree's orientation. Press A when you're done. Now that it's bigger, maybe we need to reposition it a little. Use the left stick, X and Y buttons to move the tree. Hold the left trick. Press A when you're done. Awesome job. You're going to create a goal for the play. Press up on the D-pad to open the prop gallery. Use the left stick to select the search box in the upper right. Select the village flag prop and make sure press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. Press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. We'll make a brain for the flag that will do two things. Move the cursor over the flag and hold the left bump. While holding the left bumper, press first we have to detect when the player reaches the flag. Select the plus, select the, select the, now this line will run when any object. Spark, you've leveled up. Gaining more levels grants rewards and access to more awesome stuff in the marketplace. Select the play. Now that the when side checks if the player has reached the flag. So far, all of the code you've written has been on page one of this brain. Every brain has at least one page. Select the plus. And press the right bumper to view the next page of time. Select the brains fold. Select the switch. Select the plus and press it. Press the right. Select the brains. Select the next. Switching pages is like changing states. Like going from being asleep to being awake. You can't be both at once. Switch page, next page. Page one is done for now. So you can switch over to press the right bump. Welcome to page two. Anything you want to happen after the player reaches the flag should go on this page. A good place to start is with a simple victory map. Select the plot. Select the appear. Select the select the display. Next, you need to create select the plus and select the select the select then what will be displayed when players reach the flag. You can also modify where the message will show up. Select the plus. Select the mo select the select the screen select the select the plus and select select the Before you add anything else press B to exit the brain press menu to open the pause menu select test to try out your game Press menu when you're done testing Select Edit to return to Create Mode. Your goal works, but it doesn't move the cursor over the... While holding the left bumper, press Y. Press the right bumper. After the victory text is to select the plus. Select the... Uh, select. Select the... Fi now set how long the... Fi select the plus. Select. Select. Select the plus. And select the... Select the... Select the... How many seconds should the fade out take? 
One to three seconds is a good length to actually end the game. Simply use the game over. Select the plot. Select the select. Select the game. The when side of this line. You can use a countdown timer. Select the plus and select. Select the select the plus and select the select. Select the new. How many seconds should elapse before the game over screen appears? Make sure this is longer than the fade duration. Now this line won't run. Time to put your game over. Press B to exit the brain and press menu to open the select test to try out. When in test mode, the game over tile returns you to create mode. In play mode, the player will go to the end game screen. Thanks for checking out our tutorial preview for 3D Adventure. Check back in future releases for more tutorials and even bigger adventures. Don't forget to... Prop mode is how you add interest to the prop palette below.